My name is George Mwangi, the director of this school. It is called St. George's Cornerstone Secondary School. It is a school in Juja Subcounty. I have been running this school for the last 10 years, and uh, I have been an, a tenant on this property for the same period. So um, on Saturday, uh, 6th of January, I received a call for, from uh, my security guard informing me that uh, there were people who were demolishing the structures belonging to the school. And uh, because I was not very far, I came to this place and, and I encountered um, a gang of about 20 youths who looked drunk and they were holding crowbars and the other items that they were using to demolish the school. So I cannot tell really who these people were because in the case of a demolition, I was expecting something like uh, an order, maybe from the court, which uh, I did not get. And uh, the next course of action that I took was to go and report the matter to the police. And I have gone to the police all the way from the patrol boys uh, near me to the chief, to all the authorities involved, including the police station at Wetaibie, and uh, all those people in authority have no information about a demolition that was supposed to take place. So you can uh, see the duration of time between Saturday and today, Monday, when we were supposed to open the school. That duration was very small. So we have only come today to see what we can do with the uh, structure, with, the, with, with what remained. And uh, we are trying to uh, make do with uh, what is available. We have uh, tried to uh, uh, talk to our friends. They have given us a tent because we have to run the school. So for the time being, uh, after reporting the matter to the police, they have uh, summoned my landlord just to find out maybe there is a, a problem involving land. But we have been told that uh, the landlord is going to be available on Wednesday. So up to that point, uh, we are just waiting for the outcome of that process. So we had uh, four classes, a store, uh, a staff room, and uh, a laboratory, and an office. And all of those have been demolished. The, uh, the magnitude of that loss can be estimated to be around, uh, let's say, over one million. And uh, in the absence of a clear process, we feel that we are very disadvantaged because um, even if somebody wanted to demolish the school, it is very unfortunate that this person had to wait until only a day before the opening of the school. And this has really affected the students. Although most of them have reported, there is uh, quite a number that has not reported because this being a day school, some of them have already uh, learned that the school uh, has been demolished and there are so many parents who are very frustrated about the whole situation. We have lost, um, from the, the lab, we have lost uh, most of the lab equipment. We have lost, uh, from the food store, we have lost at least a, a sack of maize and a sack of beans. We have lost uh, uh, some cereals and uh, on the other part because uh, we also keep livestock, we have lost like two goats. We have also lost some desks and uh, uh, generally we have also lost furniture belonging to the staff room. So it is uh, a quite a hard situation to, uh, to deal with and uh, up to this point we have a very big problem uh, trying to find out where we start because we expect even if there is a dispute concerning land uh, we expect that somebody should have come and told us that I, I, I am laying claim to this land and I am laying claim to this land up to this point we would have known what to do if this information had come to us so as we speak I don't think there is any business person who can just uh, sit pretty uh, 
in the case of, of, of a clear notice, for example, to vacate. But I have no information of anybody who has come to me uh, telling me to move from this place to this place. I'm uh, somebody coming, uh, even today, even today I have called my landlord uh, and uh, we have met and I, I, what I, I gathered is that maybe this is, there is, um, there is, uh, so uh, we are out here looking for justice and we believe that the people in authority are going to act in accordance and uh, all we want is for the situation to be resolved as quickly as possible so that the children we have can uh, uh, come back to school and learning can resume comfortably.